soldiers, I'm Daisy, founder of Banish. We hope that this movement has helped you feel confident about your skin with or without acne. Want a chance to change the world and be featured in our Banish Acne Diaries? Click on the link below to be featured in BAD. Enjoy the rest of this video. Bye. As you know, my name is Edbert. Um, I grew up in Diamond Bar, California. It's like a little small city. Um, I think really known for Alex Morgan, who grew up in the area as well. I went from elementary school to high school there. After graduating, I went to Cal Poly Pomona. Graduated from there in 2018. Also, oh, I studied accounting. And for the past year or so, I've been studying for my CPA exams for the licensure for yeah, to get my yeah. Yesterday, actually, I just moved to Irvine to start work pretty soon at a firm. So that's just where I'm at right now. So far, what I like to do, I go to church every week and I also love playing basketball, watching basketball. I played basketball in high school. I was on a high school team along with in an, in an outside league. I also did cross country and track and field. So I really love exercising and doing all these, you know, activities outside of school. That's just kind of my life. Right now, I just enjoy playing and watching basketball with my friends and and going to church. Yeah, so that's that's what I like to do. I'm very motivated. When there's something I have to get done, I try to get that thing done right away. Like that becomes my priority. Like me taking my CPA exams, I had to do that and cut out time with like family and friends. Like during the past year, that's what I had to do. Eight hours of studying every day and then rest of the time I have to like take a break and stuff and I could say like I'm kind of introverted I like doing things alone most of the time like with group work I, I'm okay with that but I think I could like maximize my, poten my potential just by doing things alone like sometimes I like going to the park alone shooting hoops alone you know playing basketball alone or just going on a run alone like I just like to get to really know myself a lot more when I do that. I listen a lot, a lot of Taylor Swift. I really like the 1989 album, but recently I've been listening to like her um, kind of like rebellion songs. I did something bad. It just makes me, it's just like songs that can make me a little angry because sometimes, you know, like during my college years, I keep like ask questions about like, oh, do you wash your skin? Do you, do you sleep? Or do you, do you eat vegetables and fruit? And I was like, no, like I don't. I wash my skin with baking grease. That's why all these acne, you know? But sometimes I just get really mad and I just need like songs that kind of make me mad. And I'm, I really like to Swift, so those are the songs I listen to. I'm sorry, it actually comes from my mom. Seeing her struggle, because the reason why I have my acne is because my mom had a lot of acne growing up. Like it kind of, kind of passed down to me. She grew really, really oily skin, but it kind of helped her now because her skin is very, like she doesn't look that old, right? But growing up, when she was growing up in high school in Taiwan, like everyone laughed at her, her skin, and how she kept getting looked down. I think she was constantly getting, um, kind of, not bullied, but kind of, kind of bullied. She finally like broke through that, and now she looks great. She also got her CP license here in California, so she kind of like pushed through with the education as well. So she's someone that I really look up to. For me, my, both my older and younger sisters started having their huge breakouts first, and that was when I was, still had like really good skin. So I knew that my time was gonna come, and that was when I was heading toward heading for high school. So I started by having a bunch of these under my nose, like my lip area, and then it got these like huge like cysts, like the ones that kind of stay there for like months, and then eventually started spreading through my cheeks and my forehead. So it went from like here to there, and it was a really rough journey. Um, I think in my high school years, like it was like at times there were quite a lot, and it went down, and it was like here and there, but it's not when I started college. You know, stress starts hitting you with college work and projects, job interviews, all these things. It started, it started getting on me, and that's when I had my like worst breakouts like ever. That's that actually like when I found out about Banish, because it was during those times it was like the worst. It was so bad. Like I had no idea. It was super. It was terrible. I mean, it was really hard to deal with. I think because like for church, I have service, and with service, you're in the front. Everyone sees you, you know. And dude, like I would always try to say like no, and they would like ask why, and. I didn't know what to say. One of the biggest insecurities, like I just don't want to mention, it's because of my skin, you know, it's not a good excuse. I think I spent most of my time in hiding. I know it's not good, but like nothing else I could do. I just had to avoid everyone for 
like periods of time when like my acne got really really bad. Uh, mostly in my college years from like 2014 to 2018. They're mostly during my junior and senior year, which is like 2017 and 2018. I just spent most of the time like at home and then like complained to my sisters about <laughs> my skin because we all had that issue too. We in hiding, we would like FaceTime each other and all that stuff and talk about like how like kind of recommendations what to do to your skin and all this stuff. So yeah, I just spent all my time like mostly just like at home when I knew my skin was like really, really bad. Well, like along with the like asking questions about like sleeping, do you change your pillowcase? Do you change your bed sheets? Or do you like drink water and all this stuff? I, I had a lot of like looks um, when I talk to someone, they wouldn't look at my eyes, they would look at my like, like this area <laughs> instead. Uh, at that point, I was like, okay, I don't want to talk to anyone. Like it is that, that like people want to talk to me, they just don't look at me, they just look at like around my skin. And then after I have a conversation with them, they will like ask about, oh, I would recommend you like using this product for your skin. And I just get super offended by that because I was like, dude, like you have no right to ask about like my skin. Like it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. So when I had my really, really bad like acne times, I think I was on bed and I just like looked up like how to reduce my acne in a week. And the first video that popped up was a YouTuber called Cutie Karen. So yeah, so I, I watched that video and then, okay, so I followed what she said. And it helped a little bit for a week, but then I think she also had another video like that was posted recently before that video and it was about using the banish roller for acne scars. And she also showed the pumpkin mask, the charcoal mask, she um, showed the, the starter kit pretty much. I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. Her strategy kind of works, so this product must work as well. That's when I checked out the, the YouTube channel, I found out it was um, Daisy, the CEO, and I watched her like kind of like talk a little bit more about the products and everything and how like they were like all natural. And I found about her story, you know, how she made from home and all these things. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm really desperate right now. I tried a bunch of these products from above like Target or from my parents and all these things and they didn't work. I didn't even find a way. And when I looked at the price, I was like, dang, it's like $195 for the starter kit. But I was like, you know, good things come with a premium. So I was like, you know, I should just go for it. I got the starter kit. And then like in a week, I found out like a huge difference in my skin. Yeah, so that's when, that's when I started to stick with it. And right now, like constantly, I'm buying the, um, the pumpkin clay mask because that thing is like the best. Yeah, I think the fact that you guys take pride in making things fresh, right? Made to order and all these things and how they're, you know, they're vegan. You guys don't use those processed products and all those processed like chemicals into the, the products. I think that really got me using natural ingredients and all these all these things for your skin. So I think that that was a huge that was a big um, eye opener for me because you know a lot of these products they are very very cheap, but it's because they use all these chemicals and then it, that's why they don't really help your skin because they're they're all these vegan products they're really good for your skin. It's all homemade made, made made from scratch and then made fresh. So that's what really caught my eye. I have to say ten. I mean, it's, it's been great. Like, I never had a product that kind of like helped my skin so much. I think in like a matter of, like, I think a month, it helped my skin from having so much acne to just having just some scars afterwards. And I was super shocked with the results. And the custom service was great from that incident I had. And Daisy ends all my questions. But I have nothing bad to say, to be honest. Not really tough but I would say learn to just deal with the acne that you have instead of like trying to suppress it you know just deal with what you have with the acne and everything learn to like deal with the stress I think the stress is a huge thing for me for the last few months I realized like I found out how to like like have stress relief because acne really builds up when I had a lot of stress and I would tell myself you know just learn to deal with the stress learn to cope with the stress don't get too hung up on what people say about you and what people like act around you just because of your skin and learn to really just love yourself and just be yourself. I think when I found Banish, like the Instagram page really helped me a lot with everyone like sharing the stories, you know, all the sponsorships. Um, I started checking out the YouTube channel, you know, talking about the journey, like, like all people talk about like Accutane. That actually really helped me to really kind of like push through with, with the acne that I had.
soldiers, it's Daisy, founder of Banish. Did you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to our channel to be featured of any future Banish Acne Diaries and Skin Positivity. Thank you and don't forget, Banish, we got your back. Bye.